Another day to talk entertainment right here on Joy News on Multi TV. This is Let's Talk Entertainment, where we bring to you the hottest and the freshest entertainment news happening in and around our showbiz world. Stay tuned, there are more stories when we return. And when you smile. Welcome back. Today I'm so happy because we are having um, one of the best entertainment analysts we have here in Ghana um, to talk entertainment with. I mean, right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. For those of you who read graphic showbiz, you will remember that name, um, Francis Doku. And he will be joining me right here to talk entertainment. Hello, Francis. Well, I, I, I choose to call him Uncle Francis. He's my uncle. Hello. Welcome to Let's Talk Entertainment. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here today. I trust you're well. Ah, by the grace of God, we are fine. Yeah. Welcome to my mansion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just go straight to the point. Afrima, All African Music Awards. You are the country director for AFRIMA, a new initiative. And we just wanted you to, um, on Let's Talk Entertainment, just tell us what AFRIMA is about. Well, AFRIMA, um, thank you. AFRIMA is, is an initiative that seeks to reward and, and therefore award authentic African uh, music and musicians. Uh, the point is that we have uh, very good music in Africa. As Africans, we enjoy our music because we know our people do well. I mean, some people say, and I think it's true, that every rhythm started from Africa. So we enjoy our music, but we also realize that we have not been able to sell our music very well to people outside of Africa. So this initiative is to put African music where it is supposed to be again. Um, so it is an initiative that is supposed to, that seeks to reward African musicians and African music, not only for Africans on the continent, but also for Africans outside of Africa, and, and by that I mean the diaspora. So uh, this is just a way of recognizing that we have good music, a way of rewarding ourselves, and in the process, put our music out there for people to know. Why I say that is that um, the processes that will lead to Africa would, would be held in many places, many markets outside of Africa. And then on the night itself, when the Af uh, Afrima Award will take place, and on 15th October in, in Lagos, Nigeria, um, we will beam or broadcast the awards to about 109 television stations in about 84 countries. Tell us how um, that night would be. We just want, wanted a, a feel of that night. How do you think it, that night will be the awards night? Well, it will be a very um, uh, entertaining night. And not only entertaining, but also informing night. 
because uh, we realized that there's a need to produce a show that would be seen by people all over the world on, on some television stations whose standards are very high. So you need to put out a very, very good uh, show. And so the AFRIMA uh, International Committee, the producers themselves, have hired some of the best producers to ensure that they put together a very good show. So it will be a night that will feature about 12 African musicians. And all those 12 would replicate the various aspects of the continent. By that I mean the various regions. So you have Northern Africa, you have West Africa, Central Africa, East Africa, Southern Africa. And there will be a representation in terms of the music choice from the different areas. So it will be a night of music, a night of culture and a night of entertainment uh, on 15th October in Lagos. How do I, if I'm a musician, how do I get my music there to be probably nominated or being awarded on that night? Uh, okay, yeah. What we have done, what Afrima has done is to, is to uh, open nominations. Um, I think nominations open from 15th May and uh, it, is, it is closing on 5th July, which is today. Today. Yes, actually. Wow. So today is when a nomination closes. And I urge anybody who is either artist or an artist manager to put in their work. What you do is that you go onto the website of Afrima, which is www.afrima.org. And then there's a process by which you go through to put your work there. Once you've done that, there's a, um, a jury that will sit to what if you call a shortlist uh, some of the work that will be sent after which there'll be a process of voting so the best thing to do if I were a musician was to go on the website www.afrima.org and then put my work there because this is an opportunity to be recognized uh, by what would turn out to be the biggest music event on the continent and the main one I, I think people should take advantage of it musicians they are artists I mean since we began we began talking about this I've had calls from several musicians and their managers who want to know how to put it and this is the way to put it because they think it is a way that their work will be recognized beyond just Ghana and then they will be awarded as well at that level if the, the people who vote choose them to. There's a slot for journalists uh, the, entertain the best entertainment journalist for Africa in there. How does this one work? Well, how it works is that, I mean, we realize that, or Africa realizes that there are different uh, industries involved in the music industry or different aspects of the music industry. One of the key ones is, is music reporters or music journalists. Um, if, if music journalists don't talk about our music, um, of course, we will not let have people know about it. You can do your music and if it is not reported on, people will know about it. So a very important element of the music industry is, is reporters. So what Afrima has done is to create a category that apart from artist of the year, song of the year, you know, and all that, create a category that will recognize and award people who report on. on, on um. So if you have done some work in terms of either print, radio, television, on musicians and on music, you can also go on the side and upload your work because um, you never know, you could be the overall best uh, entertainment or, or music reporter on the continent. So it's an opportunity to reward uh, journalists who write about music and musicians to also put their work on the website and then they could be rewarded or awarded for it. Yeah, um, can I, for, for the journalist part um, and for the musicians as well, can I just put a, a story that I did probably today and just put it in there, or you're looking for uh, something that I did, you know, long time back, probably in 2009, uh, or, and it cuts across for the musicians as well. I, I, what are you looking out for? What we are well, what we are looking at is that because it's a closing period for nominations, um, and it started in May, so you could only use work that had been done in 2013. Uh, so it is really work that was done in 2013 because the award is to oh, oh, uh, look back at 2013 and reward is the main one, but we'll look beyond just at 2013 and reward. So if you have a work that was done between January and December of 2013, then you can put that out, whether you're a musician or, or a journalist, yes.
Okay, so Uncle Francis, tell me, being the country director for AFRIMA here in Ghana, what do you think our chances are, Ghanaians? Well, I think um, the most important thing for me will be that um, based on all these conversations we are having, we'll have a lot of Ghanaians putting their work out there because it is only when we put our, put our work there that we stand a chance of winning something. Having said that, I would also say that once you put your work there, you are going to compete with the people from your country as well as other people from 54 other countries on the continent and uh, five different regions. I mentioned already Eastern Africa, Western Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa and Northern Africa. So all countries, 54 of them, and there will be about uh, 527 uh, people in the academy who will be voting, plus public voting as well. So the uh, point I'm making is that you're going to compete with people. So it will be difficult for me to say uh, what your chances are because once you put it there your chance as an artist or as a journalist is as good as a chance from of the guy from Nigeria or from Benin or from South Africa or from Ethiopia you know so the main thing and the most important thing for me will be for you to put your work there once you do that and you stand a chance against everybody else to win but um, like I said from the beginning what Africa is looking for it's not so much uh, popularity of, of how your work is, but the quality of work. Afrima looks more at quality than popularity. If you have a work that is popular and quality, you stand a chance of winning. But it has to be very, uh, very quality in terms of, because the, the panel consists of people, experts in the industry, in various markets. Um, each market or each country has nine people who form uh, the, the panel of voters, and then one person who is part of the jury. So 10 people from every country. And we have 54 countries, so that's 540 already, uh, plus uh, people selected from the diaspora and all that to form a very big panel that will do the work. So the chance for everybody is, is, is as the chance for other, other person as well. Let's just move on from Afrima, but still on music. Um, you've heard that VVIP um, have a new remix of their selfie song, and they featured Idris Elba. What do you think about that one? Well, I thought I thought um, the remix came a bit too early in my view. Um, I I would have thought that they would uh, let this one grow a little bit more. But but I understand perhaps because Elba was in town, they wanted to take advantage of that and do a remix with him. Well, I mean, Idris Elba, I mean, um, let's not kid ourselves, is one of the biggest um, global stars, you know, he's British, he's African, he claims to be from Ghana, I suppose. Um, he's big, and so if he touches anything that you have, the likelihood of it getting that global um, appeal or feel is very high. So I think it's a smart thing that Reggie and his uh, VVIP did um, to take advantage of his star power. To, to push their work out there and I think it will give them some traction globally um, so it's smart and, and, and I hope that that helps them to make the, the remix version stronger in my view I mean I have said earlier that I thought the um, selfie song could be better because Regis is a very big star VIP very big stars and their combination I thought would have been bigger than that uh, I hope that uh, Elba's touch will make it very big as well. I mean, but I think that the selfie idea was a brilliant one because if you look on social media, I mean, almost every day people take shots and, yeah. and, and they said they're taking selfie and they tag Reggie on Twitter and Facebook and all that. So it's, uh, it's growing and maybe Elba's will take it beyond where it, it is now. That's um, VVIP and Idris Elba. We wish them all the best. Yeah, really. Miss Bell. Miss Bell is in the news. He, she, she doesn't want to get married she, because she said that she doesn't have chances of getting married. We don't, we don't want to talk about that one. But um, do you think she has any future in the music industry? Looking at how she started. Well, um, I, I think that what is in the future is unknown. Um, and uh, as a musician, I think that what they say also in music is that you are as good as your last uh, record or your last performance. Um, 
I don't know what the future is for her. What I can say is that everything that you put your mind to, you can do it. If she, she thinks that she wants to make a name again in music, I think that she needs to put her acts together. She needs to work hard. She needs to go to the studio. She needs to do rehearsals. She needs to train her voice. She needs to get the best people who can help her market her work. If she still has interest in the business. Um, I mean, those are the only success factors. Nothing beyond that. Um, she's a very talented uh, uh, musician, uh, that, that much we know. She's done some brilliant work in the past. And I think that once she has that, that um, creativity in her, it's only a matter of time. If she puts her mind to it and work towards it again, I think she will make it. Um, creativity is all you need and then extra hard work in addition to that. So, I mean, Miss Bell, we've known Miss Bell for a long time, since she was 16 years, you know. and. Um, so we, we, I, I wish her well. I, I think that I, I, I loved her music in the past and I think that if she puts her mind to it and she works again, we would again love her music. We'll go to the shows that she's supposed to perform at and she'll be there again. She should just work hard. I was going to tell you about Bruno Mars's song, um, Just The Way You Are. A lady was listening to it. Okay, doctors, I was, it was in the, in the papers that she was listening to the song and she came out of coma just the way you are song it it could bring somebody back to life well I'm just well it's a good song i mean just the way you are i mean bruno mars again is a very brilliant brilliant musician great singer great artist uh, and, and, and 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 almost all his songs are, are good songs i mean i I like, for example, a song he did with uh, Lil Wayne that he, Lil Wayne featured in the uh, Mirror, Mirror, you know, absolute uh, singing on his part. Um, and so it is, it is not a surprise, you know, when I, I, I also heard that he sang his song, somebody heard his song and was in coma and woke up. I think the, the brilliant thing to do is to, is to commend the doctors who recommended that song or who played that song when the person was in coma. And also to say that, I mean, people get their healing from different ways. And, and this is a one very brilliant one. Um, if you love music, you know, you, you, you love it. Even when you're dead, I'm sure you, you choose. Some people choose the kinds of songs that should be played at their funeral. Unfortunately, they don't wake up. They, they, they go along with it. So, yeah, it is commendable that even in coma, a person enjoys a song and she wakes up. Very commendable. So right here on Let's Talk Entertainment, which song do you recommend for our faithful viewers. I will recommend uh, Michael Jackson's uh, The Man in the Mirror uh, because it's a very telling song about the fact that we cannot go out there to change the world unless we, we change ourselves first. I mean, look in the mirror, the person you see is the one you can change. If you are not able to change yourself, there's no way you can change the next person or even go on to change the world. As I turned up the collar board, my favorite winter cold, this wind is blowing my mind. I see the kids in the street, but not enough to read. Who oh, am I to be blind, pretending not to see them? Hanging out on this edition with Francis Doku, I'm sure you had fun. This has been another edition of Let's Talk Entertainment here on Joy News on Multi TV. Catch the same time next week for another edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. My name is Becky.